Tonight we're hearing from a woman who played a pivotal role in black history. Elizabeth Eckford was part of the Little Rock Nine, a group of black students who were stopped from walking into a desegregated high school nearly 70 years ago. And Local 10's Terrell Frenet sat down with Eckford and joins us live now with the interview. Terrell. A very smart and humble woman she is, you know. We can also tell you that uh, she is someone who enjoys sharing her story. Her public appearance actually just wrapped up a short time ago here at the Performing Arts Center here in Coral Springs. And it was a special night because it is the final time that she is sharing her story in this manner. Long before Elizabeth Eckford was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal by former President Clinton, she was just a teen trying to get to class following a controversial landmark federal court order. What we experienced was desegregation. We, we were never considered uh, and treated like equals. Central High in Little Rock, Arkansas was an all-white school until September 4th, 1957. They were taunting me shouting ra racial slurs. Eckford and eight other black students were turned away by the very National Guard that was brought in to keep the peace under racial tensions. I'd seen them break ranks to admit white students. When I approached them, they closed ranks to bar me. The protesters were worse. Outside the school was a mob scene. And I heard someone say, let's hang her. Get a rope, drag her over to the tree. I saw a woman who appeared to have a kind face so I turned toward her and she spat on me. Now 81 years old, Eckford has learned how to balance the trauma that still haunts her 65 years later. It's been a, a difficult journey for me, but worthwhile because um, it, it is a chance to teach. Anybody can reach out in kindness. But this stop in Coral Springs is the last public appearance for the civil rights pioneer, doctor, and military veteran. She's retiring from the road and choosing to allow her experiences to be shared in a book. I want people to understand that language can be very powerful. And there is no doubt that Elizabeth is a walking piece of history. She tells me that it actually took her 40 years to get to a place where she was comfortable enough in sharing the details of her story, not just what happened outside, but the hell that she endured on a daily basis inside of the school as well. By the way, eight of the Little Rock Nine are still alive today. We are live in Coral Springs. Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.